It's Beer O'Clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Beer 52 and it's a bottle of their Millions of Peaches Milkshake IPA coming in at 6.6% ABV. There's a look at the bottle. Look how hazy that beer looks. White bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Look at the smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. I'm expecting of course lots of peach in this beer. Probably some oats to get that lovely cloudy look to the beer. Make it look like a little bit like milkshake. Let's rock this beer up, get it in to the glass. That looks absolutely terrific. One finger white head. Yeah, it looks like peach kind of mango juice, didn't it, eh? It's terrific. Put that down a second because it's been brewed in Belgium. Belgium. That's it, not Belgian. Belgium. Uh, and it's, I believe... Oh, they did a, they did, oh, Brewery Anders, that's it. They did a, they did a brewery run with Brewery Anders, and I'm wondering if this is brewed with Brewery Anders again. Uh, they seem to have a very good be uh, relationship, Beer52. Uh, Beer52.com, by the way. Um, check out the link in the description box of the video. Uh, let's move on. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, loads of peach, loads of oats, biscuity, malty, hoppy, Bomb of a beer. It smells really, really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Lovely. Absolutely, absolutely lovely. Lost for words there. Kind of a bit tongue-tied. Stone the Crows. Nice bitterness on the back end. The peach comes through nicely. A bit of kind of a, like a touch of sweet but sour, spicy, bitter. Lots of stuff going on. Actually, the carbonation is enough to push the beer on the inside of the mouth. You don't see it see much of it in the glass there, but but trust me, the the carbonation is very much there. An easy drinking beer, a refreshing beer, but with a, a nice little bit of a kind of creamy, milkshakey mouthfeel. That's what you're thinking, isn't you? You're thinking density. When you think of milkshake, you think of milk in a glass. It's thick, it's dense, it's, it's milky. And this is, this is very much like that, or very close to it. So maybe a touch of lactose added to get that milky density, maybe some oats added. We'll have a look now in a, in a, in a moment at the, at the label. All red in the face, it's really hot. It's about 30 degrees here in the UK. We're having a fantastic summer, but this kitchen is, is it seems to get warm during the day. It's never got warm. This kitchen has never been warm, ever, since I owned the house, 20 years. But it's been non-stop, day after day after day after day, 30 degree heat, and it's it's finally warmed it up here. Uh, dry hop with Amarillo, Citra, Simcoe, and Amar uh, sorry, Amarillo and Mosaic, uh, let me say. And yes, okay, I've, I've not looked at the ingredients, it's just a it was just a guess from me. Uh, so water, hops, barley, malt, oat flakes, uh, wheat flakes, and lactose. Peach and yeah, there might be a little bit of allergens in the beer. So basically, the reason why they've added this to the beer, I'm getting quite good at this, aren't I? Um, they've added the lactose, they've added the oats, but a little bit of a milky, creamy, dense mouthfeel to the beer. Not, it is bitter on the back end, but not too bitter. It's going towards one of those kind of Vermont style IPAs, but very nice. I'm going to rate it. 
millions of peaches by beer 52 and probably brewery anders for me I like that. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.